Is this thing on? Is this thing on? Are we playing some Fire Emblem tonight? I think we are. Welcome back, everybody, to Fire Emblem The Binding Blade. Um, I am your host, Alex. We are still waiting on Joe and Matt to catch up with me on uh, Lin Mo for The Blazing Blade. So we are just playing some more Binding Blade tonight. Um, honestly, just a couple of chapters, probably two or three. We'll see how we do. If it's, uh, I'm, I'm shooting for like a two hour stream tonight. Just a chill, kind of hanging out. Uh, DQP, welcome to the chat. Oda Cat, welcome to the chat. It's our boy, it's Roy. We are playing some, some Binding Blade, probably two or three chapters. We'll see how we how we do. I'm, I'm looking for, shooting for maybe like a two, two hour stream. I'm, I'm honestly, I've been playing a whole lot of Xenoblade. That's the only thing I can think about. Uh, thanks for swinging by, DQP. Yeah, feel free to, to check out whenever you need to. I need to drink some water. If I can reach my straw. But we are going to start with chapter four. Let's just jump into it. Respecting Hector's dying request. Roy makes his way west. That rhymed. Intent on reaching Lilina, Roy keeps a steady pace toward Ostia. On his way there, Roy passes through the territory of Laos. Oh, I love this chapter. Governed by Lord Eric. At a glance, Laos is a peaceful territory with vast meadows and clear streams. Beneath this beauty, however, lies treachery and great skullduggery. Skullduggery? This is a fan translation, so I, I wonder what Japanese text there was that led to them translating it into skullduggery. Ah, welcome, General Martian. Lord Eric. I don't think I've yet praised your wisdom in joining Burn. Thank you, sire. Ancient vows and traditions are nothing more than a burden anyway. You, my friend, are wise beyond your years. Now, where is that gift you promised me? She does not seem to be here. Ah, yes, she's in her quarters. She's exceedingly naive, you see. When I told her she could meet her brother, she cooperated without question. You there, bring her here. What is this hall? Klein? Where are you, brother? Actually, I think it's Klein. Welcome, Lady Clarine. Who might you be? I am Narshan, one of Burn's three wyvern generals. My lovely little lass, I think you will enjoy my company more than your brother's. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Ha, 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 ha. What? Why do you laugh? You compare yourself to my brother? You think too highly of yourself. Your garb, your hair, even your speech. All a painfully obvious guise to hide your true lowborn face. Lowborn? Me? You would compare me to a peasant? Oh, heavens no. I would sooner compare you to a filthy, disease-ridden mutt. Y you vermin! I'll see you suffer. General Narshan, we must receive- We just received word that Castle Arafen was retaken by the enemy. What? Impossible. What of Slater? Er, his whereabouts are unknown, sire. The enemy is reported to be Roy, son of Marques Ferre. Accursed interruptions. Lord Eric, lock the girl in a cell. I will give her the pleasure of my company when I return. You, blockade the high road from Ostia. This Roy might just pass by. I want his head. Yes, sire. And we just jump into the chapter. Um, so when we get to Blazing Blade, this chapter is going, you're gonna get a lot of deja vu from seeing this one. Uh, it is one of my favorite early game chapters ever. Um, between both versions of six and seven, uh, because it, it kind of asks you to do a whole lot 
and split up your troops in interesting ways because you have this village here, this village here, um, and these are going to be assaulted by brigands and I think pirates. Maybe the pirates are only a uh, blazing blade thing. I think they show up here too. Um, but essentially, it's it's asking you to do a whole lot while also having to to uh, like deal with this open plain of cavaliers, and so it's it's both challenging in like a strategy and combat way, but also in just like how are you going to split up your troops to handle everything that you have in front of you. Yeah, yeah. Clarine has uh, some bite to her. Um, she's a classic, like, prissy, uh, noble lord, fire emblem archetype. Uh, she's, she's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, she's, she's got some, some bite to her, which is what Narshan needed to hear, honestly. Uh, when I first played this, I think the, the fan translation, um, I played was, like, a, a, a different, simpler version. Like, maybe it was just, like not localized as much. It was more like a straight uh, translation. And I think I remember it being a lot harsher. I was very put off by it because I, I had played a lot of Fire Emblem. I played the fan translation for the first time and it was like, it was gross what Narshan was going to do. What are you drinking? Can I have some? It's just bottled water with ice. But yeah, you can have some. You can use my straw. Without a thief, you can't open doors and chests so easily. Only thieves can use lockpicks. But I have something called a door key, which will open any door. Anyone can use it. You can have it. Door key. I think that will probably be helpful in the next chapter. There are no doors to unlock here. Okay. Um, I am going to send Marcus out this way. I want him to soak up the majority of of uh, the aggro, for lack of a better word. I want him to pull out the, the enemies towards him. Um, and I'm going to have Vors chill out here. Um... All I really want to do with Roy is make sure that he's, like, outside of range of... Yeah, so that guy doesn't have a javelin. So I can I can really put Roy right here. And he has a rapier, so that's going to be good against cavalry. Uh, Merlinus. I don't know what to do with you yet. But Lot and Wade. Y'all can just kind of chill out here. Shauna. I think what I want to do with Shauna is actually transport somebody else. I just don't know who I would transport. Maybe Deke? Deke's probably a good candidate for that. I'm going to... That, that boat can't reach me. It couldn't even reach me in the, the initial place I wanted to go. So... Not really a concern just quite yet. Uh, Lou, go south. Alan, that seems like a good spot for you. Honestly, I think I might want to pick Walt to like try and uh, pull aggro from this guy. And Ellen, you can just chill here. And drink some more water. Okay. So Marcus is not killing them outright, but he's weakening them. This is exactly what we want to see. He is softening up some blows for our weaker units to come and finish them off. That's kind of like the ideal... Thing you want to happen with uh, the your early game paladin. What's up, Sir Tuzer? Welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. Do you like Fire Emblem? Do you like Xenoblade? 
I've been thinking about Xenoblade quite a lot. I played like 15 hours worth of Xenoblade um, the past couple days. Uh, I am, to put it into perspective, um, that game is 17 chapters long. I'm on chapter 14. I started up on chapter like eight uh, on Sunday. You like me and my content? That's good. I'm glad you're here. That, I mean, that means a lot, honestly. It's good to hear, considering, like, I'm very new to this. <laughs> this man is crumbling without Xenoblade. Man, like, if I wasn't worried about spoilers... Actually, that was a really good level up. Oh my god. Did you guys see that? That was like straight speed, defense, and and HP? Oh, you like Xenoblade? Where's your British accent? Uh, it's... It's Roy time! I'm really feeling it! I, I'm really bad at accents. That's why I don't try and go for them whenever I do, um, my narration. Like, I, I feel so... So worthless, or like, so low in skill compared to, uh, Joe and Matt, because they could do accents and stuff, and really sell the characters in ways that, like, I just can't. I'm not there yet. Um, even, like, in D&D, &D, I just recently started a campaign, and I'm playing, like, this gnome, and I would really like to give this the gnome, like, a... a, a some sort of, like, British or, or Irish accent, you know? Make him talk in an interesting way that isn't just literally my voice, uh, but I just don't have that skill. I, too, am really feeling it. Glad to hear it. It is Monado Monday, after all. Um, it is Monado Monday because there is a gif of uh, Shulk doing the Fortnite default dance that says Monado Monday, but it's also Monado Monday because I got the day off randomly. I don't. I didn't have to come into work today. Uh, it was like a paid day off, so I am I'm very happy to be enjoying my Monado Monday. Gnome Fritos. His name is actually Finnegan Franz. Um, he is partially named after a Fire Emblem character named Franz. Uh, we did not turn on combat animations for Chad. That is not a good thing. We can fix that up right quick. There you are. Dude, days off? Highly recommended. Highly recommended. If you've never had a day off, you should do it. The Franz. Hey! The boys went day off? Agreed. You're not wrong. Sir Tuzer, I have a question for you. It seems like you you play a lot of uh, TF2. And as somebody who played a little bit of TF2, uh, and then got really into Overwatch for like five years and then stopped, um, why do you prefer TF2? I'm guessing you prefer TF2 over Overwatch. Um, that's my guess. I, I guess I just want to hear what your take is in comparing those two franchises, games to each other. Alright, Marcus, don't die on me. You've never played Overwatch? Interesting! I would have guessed you would have at least tried it when, when it was free. When they do, like, the free weekends or whatnot, but you probably never will. Committed. Committed to TF2. Is it the, the lack of funny hats? Surprise attack coming from above! One up gaming! Thank you for the raid! That is very appreciated. They will pay dearly for this treatment. Hey. Hey? Who's there? I'm a mercenary hired by Lord Eric. 
guys, this is our edgelord for the game. His name is Rutger, and he's awesome. He want, uh, I'm a mercenary hired by Lord Eric. He wants to see you. I will not. I refuse to meet with such churlish people. Just get over here. Just want to drop you a raid. Good luck with your stream. Thank you so much, Winup Gaming. I, 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 like I said, I, I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm very early in my streaming career, so all of this love and support. I'm really, I'm really feeling it. To quote one of my favorite JRPG uh, protagonists of all time now. Shulk is a good character, y'all. Let go! You will regret this! Have you any idea who I am? Let go, I say. We're all on your side. We're not about to abandon the land in which we were born. Please take this sword. It was given to us generations ago. A gift from the Marquess. Got a steel blade! Okay. So Rutgers gonna show up around here. And I need to be worried about when that happens because we will need to be we need, need to be like extra careful with how we handle that. Um hmm. That's a lot of dudes. This is a lot of dudes. Oh, uh, I'm only one tile away. Okay. Okay. I could finish that dude off, but I would have to deal with both of these archers. Rucker, I hardly know her. It's Rutger. Uncivilized. I'm gonna... You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna create, like, a, a meat shield situation here. I'm gonna set up Roy with a rapier right there. Uh, Wade, right here, with an iron axe. Essentially what I'm trying to do is create a wall with my units so that uh, I can kind of defend these weaker units in the back here and try and like put them in spots where they can only really attack one of my units at a time. Um, And I want to make sure I get rid of this one right here. Just in case my Pegasus Knight, I want to put her in a, in a situation where otherwise she would get one shot. Um. Yeah. So far, so good. And then all that really leaves is... I'm gonna put Shauna right here. Cool. And now we watch. It's actually not a not a bad thing that he missed. You can definitely suffer from success in this game where if you're if you are low HP but you are successfully killing enemies in the enemy phase and the enemy phase just like the enemies just have more uh like they keep having space enough to attack you then you like this successfully dispatching enemies will will put you in a situation where you might lose that unit if that makes sense
I think Rutger comes out in this turn. This chapter goes by a lot more uh, smooth if you if you just know how to use Marcus well. Have him just kind of soak up all the enemy phase. Horse on horse crime? Yeah, a lot of horse crime. Let go, let go, I say. Keep it down. You won't be able to make a clean escape without, uh, clean escape making all that noise. Escape, then you're... I prepared a horse for you out back under a tree. Now that's a real horse crime. Saving a little girl? That's a horse crime. Take it and go while everyone's distracted. Why are you helping me? I despise Burn with all my soul. With all your soul? Never mind, forget it. Saying that only piques my curiosity further. Time is short, hurry! never met such a boorish man. This is a battlefield. A proper gentleman would escort a lady to her ma to her mansion. Well, it's hardly of concern now. Sigh. I only came here to see my brother. Now, and now look at the mess I'm in. What am I to do now? We'll see. Okay, so she is... Ugh, again, I am only <laughs> one tile away with Roy. I need to talk to her. Okay. First things first, we're gonna take care of these dudes. Using our weak units first to finish these guys off since they're already weakened. That's, it's not a good level up. Not a good level up in the slightest. Uh, Shauna. Boards. Okay. No damage. Damn it. Not good. Not good. Okay. So, Otakat, Stratuzer, let me know what you guys have been playing and, uh, when you're not streaming. I know, Sir Chooser, you don't stream, but have you been playing anything interesting? I've been playing a whole lot of Xenoblade. Um, and, like, the end is in sight. And, like, I can I can already feel like my, my upcoming playthrough of Xenoblade 3 happening, and I'm very excited for it. It's been a while since I've been, like, this invested in like blowing through a game. Um, I usually don't marathon games the way I have with, uh, with Xenoblade. I guess I kinda did with, with Klonoa, but like those are really short games. Um, stuff you can easily beat in one night. Are you skipping two? Y yes, I am skipping two. I. Long story short, I played a little bit of two. I bought two on release day. I played a little bit of it, and it was so bad. I I, I had like this. I was revolted by it. Um, to put it simply, yeah, I don't care if I'm a fake Steve for not playing two. I do not like two. I do not like those characters. I do not like uh, the way it tries to do tutorials. Um, I think, I think some of the stuff in it is outright revolting. I'm not playing too. Yeah, yeah, it's strong language, but I mean it. I don't like to at all.
Xenoblade 2 insulted to Fritos' mom. Kind of, you know, actually, in a way. I could probably make an argument for that to be the case. Oh God, no. What am I do? What have I done? Uh, Lot is at 13 HP. He's not gonna survive a whole lot longer if he is in rage of anything uh, scary. Um, but he's not in rage of anything super scary right now. So maybe we don't need to worry that much. I hope you all enjoy this track. It's going to play for like the next four chapters. Lot is going to survive a whole lot longer. Mid joke, to be honest. Mid. but I appreciate your contributions to the stream. So it's not that mid. It's only kind of mid. Is this a sword or a lance? That's a lance. Scary. There we go. There's the pirates. I knew they would show up. Heh, <laughs> foolish nobility. Always involved in some petty dispute. Of course, you'll hear no complaints from us. Turmoil's how we make a living. Hehehe. <laughs> okay, tell me a joke, funny man. Uh, Bofa. It's a joke that never gets old. Just say Bofa. I'm gonna go after Merlinus. Marcus is now at half HP. Should we be worried? Okay, so she actually comes to talk to talks to us. That's good. Pardon me. You there. Me? Do you see anyone else? You are the leader of this little group, are you not? I am. Most convenient. Very well then. You will protect me. Excuse me? Hard of hearing. I said that you will protect me from harm. Mind your mouth, young lady. Away with you, peasant. I was not addressing you. What? Who do you think? Calm yourself, Merlinus. Looks like she's being she looks like she's being pursued by the castle soldiers. That's why she wants us to guard her. Right? Um, yes, that is correct. Im impudent child! We can't simply accept any useless girl into our army. You may call me Lady Clarine, present peasant, and I am not useless. I can use sta staves to heal wounded allies. So you'll help us fight? If that's what it takes. Thiago Xavier, welcome to the chat. Welcome to the stream. We're playing Fire Emblem. What brings you by? You having a good time tonight? I suppose I can't simply demand protection without any kind of payment. Thanks, we appreciate it. Our enemy is burned, so we need everyone we can get. I'm Roy. Pleased to meet you, Lady Clarine. <laughs> oh no, who invited the blonde? The one blonde rich girl every peasant game has. Yeah. The, the devs, they have to create at least one uh, for each fire emblem that's ever been made. Ahem, <clears throat> let's focus on the issue at hand. I guess Hilda's like, she has pink hair, so she's kind of different, you know? Breaking stereotypes. Is her name Candace? Her name is Clarine, so almost. Um, Hmm. 
There we go. There we go. A nine exactly. Good, okay. So we need to heal up a lot. We're gonna do that with Ellen. By the way, if if this is Candace, then does this mean that this is Ellen DeGeneres? Sorry for the dead air. I'm just trying to figure out how to... Because I know that there's going to be like a bunch of reinforcements that show up right here. And I don't want to get too close. But I also don't... Maybe I'll just back up. Um, I'll back up with... I'll have Roy over here. Honestly, I'm gonna do something, guys. I'm gonna do something. This is not my Iron Man run. It doesn't matter if I lose somebody. Uh, but I don't want to reset this chapter, so I am just going to just save state real quick. <laughs> and we're good. Are you going to kill Candace? I don't. I just want to make sure that Candace doesn't die. It's the exact opposite. I want Candace to live. And live a long and fruitful life. Cheater, I mean, I've I have created the save state as a uh, safety net. I it doesn't mean I'm going to use it. It does not mean I'm going to use it. It is there to make me feel safe. To hold me at night. Remind me that I am loved. That is what that save state is there for. I am not a cheater. I just... I'm just scared. Speaking of scared, I'm gonna need to send down uh, Deke and maybe Chad to deal with those pirates. If you cheat, you need to speak in a British accent. In it, bruv? Is that what they say? Across the pond, in it, bruv? Do I dare use a silver lance? I do. I do dare. What pond? Um the Atlantic Ocean. Have y'all never heard that uh that term before? That that phrase? I thought it was flat. I mean, just because the the earth is flat doesn't mean that there can't be like a body of water. I thought this was an AS it was not an ASMR stream. That tag is not here. Please check your tags before joining the stream. That should be a rule. Check the tags. Okay. I need to put Candace in a place where she's not gonna get hurt. Maybe right there. Okay. Ah, there you are. What do you want? We need some backup. Take some troops and prepare for battle. Are you deaf? Go and fight! I heard you. I'll leave when I'm ready. Hmm. Not the amiable, amiable type, is he? If his sword arm is as skilled as the rumors say, though that it's no matter. ASMR Steve. There is no end to the things that you can just add bestie to. And that's my favorite thing about the word bestie. It's so malleable. Um, I 
Thank you, Lance, for being able to do something. Yeah, as you can see, like, most of the enemies that I'm fighting, they, they require a little bit more effort to kill compared to what we were dealing with in the Blazing Blade. Um, so... I want to keep clearing over here. So it's really bad that I'm like, I'm obviously not paying as much attention to my moves. But I'm doing an Iron Man run. I have save states. Not that I'm going to use them. But I have save states. Like a security blanket. Like a security deposit. You have a safe state in it, yeah. I do have a safe state in it. Because I am I am nice with it, and so I have a safe state in it. I have a safe state in the game. Senator Dave State. I have a Senator Dave State for my video, James, and no one can stop me. The thing going on in the back of my head is just like, is this a stupid move? Is this a stupid move? Is this a stupid move? Like, that's that's what's repeatedly going on in the back of my head as I, like, try and contemplate every dumb thing I'm doing right now. Okay. I'm actually going to send Lou down here. And who else? Okay. We are. We're okay. When is James Cube 2 going to come out? Um, June. Okay. 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 Oh my god. Oh my god. No! <laughs> yeah. The critical was always a possibility. No, why here? Lloyd Roy. When is Dean Cast 2 coming out? Oh, because of James Dean and like the Dreamcast? Noise one, bruv. Um. I'm not using the save state, actually. I don't need to use the save state. Oh, you're having a laugh! Despite my, like, inability to do any uh, British accents, I, I do really enjoy British television. Oh, so Roy can't actually even talk to this guy. Um, this is what I need to do. Oh, it's you. What? You're still here? Still here? You abandoned me in the middle of the battlefield. How can you have the nerve to say that? I could have been killed. I guess you're lucky you're still alive then. Did you want something or can I go now? Just a moment. I shan't allow you to abandon me twice. A gentleman must take responsibility for his actions. Responsibility? For what? I saved you from that twisted sadist. If a gentleman rescues a lady, he must also escort her to her mansion. In what fairy tale does some barf of a man abandon his princess? Barf of a man, wow. Candace really going at it. What in the world are you on about? What are you on about? Besides, you said you despise Bird with all your soul. If you ask me, you better, you'd better you be better off joining us. 
We'll be fighting Burn, you know. What? Wait. Is that true? Is that army you're really you're in really going to challenge Burn? Oh. I think I hit B instead of A. Uh All you really need to know about that conversation is that he joins. After killing Alan. Alan is dead because of Rutger, and we're gonna let Rutger join our army anyways. Roy does not care. He has no loyalty. You know what? Not a horrible level up, and so I'm not mad. I am not mad that I lost the unit. I am not coping, I am not seething, I am not molding. I am having a generally good time right now. It's okay because Rucker is real good. Rest in peace, Alan, though. Yeah. Yep. It's fine. It's especially fine because, like... I'm not sure. I, I think this is our first time in the chat, so welcome, range attacker. Uh, happy to see you. Um, I am only playing Binding Blade for a little bit. I'm, I'm, we've been playing the Blazing Blade, me and a couple of friends, Joe and Matt, who also stream with me on this uh, uh, Twitch channel. Um, they are still catching up to me. I had just finished up Lynn's campaign, and uh, I'm waiting for them to catch up. And then once they are caught up, then I'll stop playing Binding Blade and jump back into Ellawood uh, hard mode is what I'm going to be playing. And I'll be playing a Iron Man of that. So I'm not too worried about losing Alan because this isn't going to be like a full playthrough anyways. I just want to showcase this game to my audience and um, just kind of like, yeah, just kind of like showcase a game that most, most American Fire Emblem fans, most Americans in general, just, or Westerners in general, haven't really played. Uh, or seen, so... That's the situation. But yeah. I I'm not too worried about Alan. Rucker is just a, a much better unit. He is honestly essential for hard mode in dealing with uh, difficult bosses. Um, he has amazing speed. His strength is okay. He's It's going to be a lot better uh, as we go on. Um... Five defense isn't great, but it's it's fine for right now. Honestly, for chapter for, for level four, five defense is okay. Um, but really, it's his skill and his speed; those are gonna be uh, critical. Um, and I mean that literally. Like critting bosses is important, um, and having a really high speed stat means that we can dodge a lot of stuff that uh, bosses are gonna throw at us. Merlinus is the main character, and he's fine, so... And he can reach more than 100 crit. Yes, Rutger can actually... Um, eventually get to... Uh, basically just, like, have 100 crit. He can always crit as long as I think he has the right weapon for it. Uh, the Wo Dao gives him, I think, 50 crit. And then he has plus 15 crit because of his class when he gets to the Swordmaster. Um, and then his innate crit is just going to be really high off the charts anyways. Where are these pirates? I shouldn't have sent these guys over. I, I should be paying attention. That's free XP. Um, but I'm gonna actually send Rucker over to deal with that. Okay, I'm gonna trade and give him an iron sword and a vulnerary. He does hit the critty. And Clarine and, and fair supports give him even more. Cool. Yeah, I think the Clarine did. I, I didn't know that he supported with fur, but that makes sense. But yeah, you can stack crit a whole lot with Rucker. I can't believe this war is happening. We'll all suffer under Burn's iron-fisted rule. 
but you just might be able to stop them. Here is something that will help you fight a little longer. Think carefully before using it. Angelic Robe! Alan could have used that. Alan could have used that. Um... Considering the way that I'm playing this game right now... This, this Angelic Robe is going straight to Roy. In fact, I'm gonna give Roy the boss kill. Uh, Archer? Do you have a Javelin? You do have a Javelin. Okay. I don't want them to hit my Archer. Where's Alan, DeFritos? He's dead. Where's Florida? Florida's not dead, actually. Uh, when you lose a character in Lin's campaign, they are not dead. They are just um, incapacitated, and they come back for the rest of the, the game later. Though, uh, to be honest, like... I'm probably going to leave it up to the chat as to whether or not I play with Florina. I'm kind of leaning towards not playing with Florina. If I lose a unit in my Iron Man run, I feel like I shouldn't be able to, like, go back and use her. Also, Swordmaster gives 30 crit in FE6. Okay. Good to know. That's a lot of crit. And does the Woe Dao give you, like, 50 crit? In this game? I want you to kill Florina again. Like, not just bench her, like, literally just have her die in the chapter that she comes in. I can do that. I can arrange that for you. Hmm. Let's use Wrecker. Oh no! I mean, you, you already saw him do his cool crit animation when he killed Alan. Why do you want to kill Florina? I mean, she did already die. Like, it, it does make sense. I kind of want to kill Florina, too. I prefer Fiora anyways. I think technically Florina's, like, the better unit because you get her earlier, and especially when training her in, Lin, in Lin's campaign, um, it just makes a lot more sense that Florina would be the better unit, because you can kind of grind her levels up. But I, I like Fiora's... She, I think she comes in with a little bit more tankiness, less speed, um, but there's already so much innate speed with the uh, Pegasus Knights, and she has a little bit more strength, too. 40 crit, so even without stats, a promoted Rucker with a Wodao has 70 crit. Yeah, that's ridiculous. I kind of want to build supports with uh, Rucker and Clarine right now, but, like, I know that that's... That's more like a long-term thing, and, like I said, I'm not, I'm not planning on playing a full playthrough of this, so... Not really necessary. Okay, Hand Axe. We're gonna buy a whole lot of these. Um, essentially the most powerful weapon in the game. Not the most powerful, but the most useful. Having 1-2 range is really good. Probably not so much in this game because hand axes are, uh, they just have very low hit rates. But when you put it on somebody like Marcus or some other paladin, someone who doesn't suck, essentially, they're really good. Iron Lance. I think I already have an Iron Lance. I'm, I'm, I think I'm fine. We do Florina list runs on stream. I definitely do those. I, I, I can admit to that.
Look, if Florina didn't want to die, then she wouldn't have stood where she should, where she stood. She could have easily avoided that by being one tile away. It was her fault. I had no input. Florina told me where she wanted to be on the map, and I placed her there. I'll just do this. Uh, I kind of want to do some more XP grinding. She trusted me. Well, that was also her mistake. That was also her mistake. She shouldn't have done that. She should have trust nobody. Had, did she not watch the trailer for Fire Emblem? It says, build an army, trust nobody. And she trusted me. She shouldn't have. Honestly, she shouldn't have. You fools are bound down by moldy old tradition. Allow me to teach you the way of the world. Bro, what's up with the edge? Yeah, y'all shouldn't trust me. I am untrustworthy. Wow. Enthralling gameplay. Damn. Okay. That is not nearly as much damage or as much hit rate as I would have hoped. Oh! He's using his javelin. What else does he have? Does he have a silver lance or a steel sword? Okay, so he does have a steel sword. I could try and bait out the steel sword by using an axe. Maybe if I do... I'll give him an iron axe to use next turn. Okay. Pirates. I do not want to use my killing edge just, just now. This is fine. Oh! A crit on a 5%? Damn, Rucker's too good. Honestly, worth the trade with Alan. Um, you need to do exclamation point, add quote, and then... Uh, look, I don't know that you're... I know that you're not subbed. Not as a call out, just... I know that you can't even do it even if you knew how to. Uh... Y'all shouldn't trust me. I am untrustworthy. <laughs> you were pretending? Well, I wrote it out now. I have to do it. I have to do it now. That is quote number 888. 888. It's your fault. That's a that's an important number, a big milestone in this community. And you used it for a joke. You should contemplate your actions. Um now what? I guess the thing I want to do, I can't do until next turn. Shout out to Rutger. Don't try and be smug with me and your cat emojis. I see through the lies of the Jedi. I think Roy gets the kill. 
which is very exciting. I could beat you up. Oh yeah? I don't know, you're from California. I feel like if we're playing rock, paper, scissors, uh, Texas beats California. California, I think, probably beats... Uh, I don't know. Your stats are low. Look, I have low speed, but I have high defense. High strength. I could take a couple of hits. You wouldn't want to mess with me on enemy phase. Ha ha ha. Fools, there is no future for those who oppose absolute power. This is some high-level gameplay. Man! Both of the Roy level ups today have been so good. Excellent performance from Roy. I just have to get you on a day where there is no... There is any form of weather. <laughs> Texan's greatest weakness. Honestly, if there's like... Oh, the whiff of snow in the air, like... You'll... You'll... You got me dead. Biodiversity? <laughs> right. Man, that ain't that the truth, like... It's so flat over here. I'm really looking forward to going to Denver. Um, I'm planning on going in the fall to see my friend and, like, just see mountains again. Lord Roy, the remaining soldiers from Laos are retreating. Thank you. Tell everyone to get some rest. Yes, my lord. Roy, are you alright? I never would have thought that Lord Eric would turn on Lycia. I thought the Lycian League's bonds was, str was stronger than this. Cowardly burn. Underhanded tactics. I apologize. Oh, I'm sorry. I wasn't even thinking about you. No, you are right. We'll now proceed west towards Ostia. But now we know that even the other Marcuses can't be trusted. With Lord Hector gone, I fear there may be no peaceful end for this war. Princess, do you plan on returning to Bern? If you need anything... No, please allow me to stay. If it would not be a burden... You, a burden? Never! But why do you wish to stay? My brother is wrong. He is pulling the dragons into a human war. If he thinks this is how we can free the world, I must stop him. Free the world? Yes, he has always been obsessed with liberating the world. He said that's the purpose of this war. What does that mean? I do not know. My brother is not so power hungry that he would attempt to conquer the world. I'm sure he believes strongly what he's done to Alib. Regardless, that doesn't excuse the violence he has caused. Princess Guinevere. Okay, so that was... What has been my uptime so far? Yeah, a little over an hour. Dang, okay, so that was just one chapter. Um, if it takes me another hour to go through this next chapter, I'll probably cut it off there. But if we can get it done in like 30 to 45 minutes, hopefully like 30-ish minutes, then maybe we'll do one more. Marques Laos has been working with Byrne against his allies in Lycia. Roy realizes that the leaders of Lycia, his homeland, can no longer be trusted. Still, heading for, Ro for Ostia, Roy moves through a, te a treacherous mountain pass. Okay, I think I remember which one this was. Fire Emblem! Guys, we did it! We're playing Fire Emblem! Chapter 5, Fire Emblem. Boss, our boys just got back from scouting the village. Then let's go get our tribute. But boss, something's different today. There's an army stationed really close to us. They say it looks like the Lycian army. Lycia? Then there's nothing to worry about. They were almost wiped out by burn. 
We can handle a few battered soldiers. You're right, boss. They probably got some valuables on them, too. Still, don't get careless. Ready then? Let's mop up these losers, boys. A villager is here to see you, Lord Roy. Hey, you, wait just a second. Are you Lord Roy of House Ray? Yes, how may I help you? My lord, I beg you, please rid us of the bandits terrorizing our village. Bandits? There's a group of bandits that made their base in the castle near the cliffs. Where are the castle guards? They fled once the... Sorry. They fled once they heard that the Lycian army was defeated by Burn. We villagers were left on our own. Our days are spent in fear of bandit attacks. We have no one else we can ask. Please help us. Lord Roy, we must keep our pace towards Ostia. Yes, I know. But we can't simply ignore people in need of help. You're joking! You will help us? Thank you. Please use the gate to the west. It'll take you right to the castle. Thank you. I'll arrange for the gate to be open when you give the signal. Melinus! We're going to the castle to drive off the bandits. Sigh. Youthful energy. Where does it come from? Malordy? Holy shit, they said the thing. Yes, they did. This is truly a fire emblem. All right. A lot of axe users. Very happy they give us a uh, Rutger to deal with them. Um, and Deke. I think I did like a weird like trick where I had one force go in through here and then another go up through here, but honestly, I'm not sure if that was such a great idea. Unless I... Unless I really, like, forced Marcus to do it? I don't know. What is this map? Yeah, so, this, this map, like, they encourage you to go through over here, or to try and, like, go head-on and, uh, go through this gate and take on the, the castle. Um, but you'll have to like deal with like a, an onslaught of enemies coming through this one spot, or you can kind of like chip them down through here. That's the idea. Do we want to do something stupid today, gamers? Oh, I heard you were coming. I'll open the gate now. What? There was a gate there? Cunning little weaklings. Okay, so now th that's two spots that need to be plugged up. I'll have Lance come in and fill over there. Roy. Shauna, can you can be kind of be on standby maybe? Or I'll have you actually up here because there's some mercs you can deal with around this area. What I just did right now is kind of stupid. But this is this is a no consequences run. If my Blazing Blade playthrough is a Iron Man run where I have to like think about what I'm doing, this is a no consequences run. It doesn't matter. We're going to be playing this game like nihilists. Boom. Oh, this is a mistake. That hit. That hit pretty hard. A steel blade. Play this game like every character is free. <laughs> That's what I'm doing right now. Oh my god. That was a 22% chance to hit. And it landed. Can luck swing in my direction at some point today? Please? Please, gamers? 
Thank you, Dorothy. Please, tell Brother Saul as well. I will, Father Yoder. But where did Saul run off to now? How am I supposed to guard him if he keeps disappearing? Uh, Brother Saul, I appreciate the offer, but not tonight. Come now, don't be like that. We can sit by the fire in the dark of night as I soothe you with my calming sermons. There you are, Saul! Wonderful, Dorothy. I'll take my leave now. No, don't go! Oh my, look what you've done now, Dorothy. That expression on your face scared her away. This is my normal look! Saul, you can't try to woo every girl you meet. You make it sound like a bad thing. I simply offer my helping hand to any poor souls in need. Then why do you always offer to give your sermons at night? Well, putting that aside, did you have some reason for interrupting my good work? Oh, right. The Lycian army is apparently somewhere around here. Truly? Is Princess Guinevere still with them? Yes, if the reports from the St. Elamine Church are correct. Then we must make haste. Let us join them. What's the matter, Dorothy? You only want to join them because Princess Guinevere is said to be so beautiful. Don't be ridiculous. Come now, hurry along. Yes, let's go. They Y'all ran in the opposite direction. I'm over here. Idiots. So yeah, that's Saul character. He's kind of like Sane, but he's a priest. Honestly, kind of an interesting twist on the archetype to have a, uh, a womanizing priest. Okay. Alrighty. What can we do here? So the only concern I have that with doing this, where I just, I place Roy here, is, I mean, he's got, like, quite a bit of health because of the stat booster I gave him, but still, there's a steel bow, and this fire mage, and then another, um, nomad to deal with, and just an endless amount of enemies, uh, I don't know, no consequences, right? Or some consequences. Y'all didn't see anything. I no longer praise Fire Emblem. Xenoblade is my new religion now. I mean, Xenoblade's good, but... But is it... Is it Chad levels of good? Look at Chad. I am really not doing a good job with inventory management, to be honest. I should give the halberd to somebody who can use it. Um... I think I want to put Shauna right here. Who is Chad? Sir Tuzer, you misspelled dad. Chad is this character right here. He's a thief. With uh, some some good old anime spiky hair, uh, angry eyebrow combo. He's a good dude. Okay, who's left, Lance? 
No, I know Dad is. He's streaming right now. Yeah. I'll be right back. I just need to finish streaming, and then I need to grab some milk and Pepsi for a special cocktail tonight. And then I'll be back home. That 13 damage is scary. The move with Shauna is so stupid. She should be dead. Oh god. I can't with these 22 hit rates actually hitting me. It's not fair. I don't like it. Bum 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 bum. Okay. They're not gonna kill Marcus. So this was somebody I was worried about. Seven damage is quite a bit. Yep. That one also kind of sucks. Um, hopefully this hits. Yes, it does! Let's go! Good on you, Lou! Atta boy! Hit it nice. Lou does hit it nice! Or at least he just did. Alright, we're gonna do this. Yep. See, this is why we gave Roy all that health in the last chapter. So he could handle that. Which Fire Emblem character would be easiest for you to crit? Like, for me to crit? If you call them at 3 a.m.? Um... It, like, player character or enemy character? Because if it's, like, a enemy boss and, like, Bot of the Beast or Glass... Easy. Easy money. Probably Geb. I could absolutely uh, defeat Geb. Not even at 3 a.m., like, at any point in the day. I could slaughter Geb. If you want to look up Geb, it's G H E B. He's in um, Fire Emblem Eight, Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. That's the one with the twins. Geb is a Discord mod. <laughs> Come on, man. I would appreciate it, Marcus, if you could hit it a little bit more nice. Aw, oh, man. Only skill. Rest in peace. 
good level ups. something interesting with Shauna, but the only thing she can do right now is die. Die in vain. Phase time. Wow. Good job, lot. Okay, bad job, lot. I take that back immediately. Yeah. What are you doing, buddy? I'm so lucky that Lot is out of the range for most of the other units. Um, I don't think that Merc can get to him, which is nice, because he's... He is at death's door right now. Speaking of, death's door. Pretty good game. Only played a little bit of it, but it's... It's pretty nice. Yeah, um, here's the thing, like, if you... The reason why Odakat needs to use, like, Face Rig is because behind all that, it's just, it's the Geb. It's Geb from Fire Emblem. And, like, not that, not that Odakat looks like Geb, like, Odakat is Geb from Fire Emblem. Key Dimension Hopped. I'm hot and would do me. That means you're a narcissist. It's not my fault, I'm so cute. Why does do mean? <laughs> what does do mean? Guys, you can't just be giving me a stroke in the chat. Please don't do this to me. go. That's a kill. I'm not a mod. I'm a moderator. I'm Big Papa Pilker. That is my role. It supersedes moderator. It's more important and better and cooler. I mod the mods. Hmm. 
which means I'm better. That's what that means, right? Who's gonna die? Who's Lance is probably gonna die, right? Like, no one's gonna be able to survive this. Um, guys, don't look. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. Close your eyes. I am saving the United States of America. They desperately need saving. And if I'm the one to do it, then so be it. He is not a murder moderator. He is part of the pl of the clergy. Yes. I'm a man of the cloth. I have a cloth. It's what I use to uh, soak up the pilk that ends up on the floor in my kitchen. I have a lot of pilk on the floor in my kitchen right now, and I don't want to clean it up. I need to buy a mop from Amazon. There is so much pilk on the floor. Candace, save fit on your hard drive. He doesn't don the cloth. It probably doesn't even use Linux. Yeah, the cloth. Donning the cloth means wearing the, the Linux socks. By the way, Sir Tuzer, I'm not sure if you were there for my um, Mario Party stream, the group stream I did on Friday. They were asking about the Linux thing, and like I had no idea like how to explain <laughs> the, the Linux thing. I really needed you there to back me up because like, how do you even explain that to somebody who doesn't know? All you had to say is the joke is Linux users are weird. I, <laughs> but watching you crumble was the best. Yeah, I'm sure it was entertaining. Hold on, before you go, take this lance with you. It was once wielded by a, a knight called Sir Gant. The stories say he bested many a foe with his lance. Yes, I know, just show them the image. Yeah, I understand that, but I couldn't, I couldn't do so in the minute. Like, when they asked me, they kind of expected an immediate response, and I'm like, I, I don't know how to explain this in a way that doesn't, that doesn't sound immediately weird. Um, I don't know. Yeah, he sent, he sent it after her. The stories say he bested many a foe with a slant, and then nobody responded. You see, it was a bad idea. Oh god. Uh send the hand axe. They didn't get the joke because you didn't explain it well enough on stream. But the, the the joke is the image itself. Like that that's kind of the joke. Honestly, the joke is less like the Linux community and more just that thumbnail. Like that thumbnail is the real joke. And like you can't really explain a thumbnail in by just like communicating it, you know? It's You killed my joke like it was Florina. In which case, like, I, I honestly don't feel bad, because... Like, Florina, you know? If she didn't want to die, then why she was, was she standing there? Florina. <laughs> You can't just be saying wild shit in the chat like that, Sir Tuzer. Now that's a kill. Minecraft Steve. Why is he so buff, man? 
I feel like I really like missed out on an era of video game humor and history because I never got into Minecraft. Um, I think I've tried out Minecraft. Like, like I think my brother had it at one point, and I tried it. But I, I've probably played an accumulated amount of maybe 20 minutes worth of Minecraft. One day he's going to do the pilk thing, but with the socks. Thicky Steve. Wow, even I played more Minecraft than you, and I hate Minecraft? Okay, I don't hate it, it's just boring. Um, if it's so boring, then why is it, like, one of the most important video games ever made? Explain that to me. Has one of the furthest reaching uh, player bases was kind of like a breakthrough hit from the indie space, uh, created an entire subgenre of content creation on the internet. Um, Steve showed off his Schmeet in Smash Brothers. Honestly, a trailblazing title. I should play more Minecraft. I think Joe and Matt for Smash Pieces, when they play Minecraft, they're going to do a, like, a hardcore thing. I think it's like a that's like a, a challenge run that a lot of content creators do, where I think if you die once, you're dead for good. It's almost like an Iron Man run, honestly. Um, and if, if I'm still around for that, whenever they get to it, then I'll probably join them. Your mom... I was obsessed with it as a kid, but I struggle to play it vanilla unless it's multiplayer. Your mom broke up with me in Minecraft. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I'm not ready. Even then, it can get it boring. but it has a huge community with some focus on custom games and servers if you're into it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's like the, the stuff that makes Minecraft special is what the players do with the game rather than like the game itself. Obviously the game gives you a ton of creation tools. Um, but when people talk about the cool things you can do in Minecraft, it's because of how the players have kind of like manipulated things. I prefer the Linux community. Yeah, there are so many mods. Like, like, Geb? Like, Discord mods? What kind of mods are you talking about? Zoom or Legos? Dude, I love Legos. I kind of miss the days of getting, like, Legos in for, uh, for Christmas. I used to get a Lego every Christmas. And, like, there's nothing more satisfying and more zen than just, like, after all the rush and hype of of Christmas, just like sitting down and putting together a big Lego set. I never had Legos. I only ever got shit Lincoln Logs. Fuck Lincoln Logs. I did play with Lincoln Logs too as a kid. Uh, but I definitely gravitated towards Legos. Did Lincoln Logs have anything to do with Lincoln Park? They're spelled the same way. No one plays with Lincoln Logs. Lincoln Logs were cool. Uh, they, they're fine. Like, obviously, I prefer Legos, but... You could make square structures with Lincoln Logs. Do you not like square structures? I don't remember Linkin Park. Can you sing a song they do in the British accent, bruv? Uh, no. I forget who Linkin Park was, is, has been, will be. 
I have short-term memory loss. I forgot what Linkin Park was. Oh, I hit the critty with Lance. Everyone give it up for Lance. So doing this was not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Um, there were some close calls, but... It could have been worse. That's what I'll say. It could have been much, much worse. Put blue right here. That's... that's fine. As long as you can't get hit, I'll just move you as far as you can go. Wow, your response has made me so numb. I've become so numb. Hash, uh, not hashtag. Numb the pain. We need to get cat cash here. Actually, numb the pain isn't a cat cash thing. I think it's you just... It just gives, gives you a link. A Lincoln. A link to Lincoln Park. Did Jeb send you SpongeBob Link 82 yet? Uh, please attach me to whatever that is because I want to see it. And I want to hear it. Um, you don't want these hands? That rap that somebody did with what were they like used uh like SpongeBob and Squidward and like did like a I'm not sure how exactly they managed to do I think it may have been like an AI voice thing where they like type it out and that's they say it in their voice. Um it's really good. As far as like meme posts of Spongebob Go, it's pretty high quality. They, there's a few really funny Spongebob AI songs. Okay, so this is an entire like genre, a genre of art that I've only scratched the surface of. The Fritos, who is your favorite Vocaloid? Um, you! You are. If y'all still good to hang on Discord tonight, I can show it then. Cool. Yeah, I'm probably gonna... I'm not gonna do three chapters tonight. It's looking like I'm gonna be coming up on... Around two-ish hours of streaming once this chapter is done. Um, and that that's probably good enough for me tonight. Like I said, this is mostly just a an exercise in me getting used to streaming. Um, the main meat of my content, Blazing Blade, will come back next week. Which should be fun. Why am I using the rapier? That's a bad idea. I know that I'm not gonna like play this long term, but I should not be doing that. I have limited uses of that weapon. Oh my God. He will hit the critty. So this guy has uh, a killer axe and a hand axe. Um, what you want to do in this situation is you want to bait out the hand axe by placing a unit two um, tiles away so that he will use the hand axe, which is a ranged weapon, rather than the killer axe, which is a one range weapon. This killer axe is very scary because of the amount of crits it can deal. Um, Honestly, if I were to get hit by a, a critical with, with that killer axe using Marcus, my, my best unit, 
uh, he would probably die in one hit, so... We are trying to avoid that tonight, gamers. Mm. Okay. Yeah, you're my favorite Vocaloid. I, I want to hear you do a song. I, I want to hear you do Stepping Wind from, K uh, uh, from Klonoa. No one's ever survived a blow from my axe. Hey. Hey, you. Want to see why? Okay. We're going to duet it on TikTok. We're going to do one of those things where, like, you hold up, like, the... The, the default, like, headphones you get with the Apple product and, like, speak into the mic. Okay. We need Rucker ASAP. ASAP Rocky style. Are y'all watching movie? Because I'll probably be down to hang after this. Um. No, I don't want to do that. How many pizzas could you eat in 30 days? <laughs> uh, what size pizzas? Are these personal pan pizzas? Are these like 12 inch pizzas, 14 inch pizzas? Large, extra large, Detroit style? Like you can't just say pizza. The pizza means so many things. Unless I can't set it up, I got the DVD out. Damn son, you got the DVD? Do they have those in Blu-ray? Totino's pizza rolls. How many how many Totino's pizza rolls like could I eat in 30 days? At least 12. At least 12. We got some speed. This is how you do it, game. Oh, God. That is not how you do it, gamers. Uh... This is how you do it, gamers. There we go. Jeb has a Japanese Blu ray of it some for some reason. Yeah, there's Blu ray prints of it. Okay, interesting. How many Spongebob movies have there been? Because I know they did, like, the the weird, like, CGI one that came out some years back. I hope that's not a... That's a, that's a dual hit. Okay. He doubled. Take. Drop. This is what we want to do. We're close. I can... I can taste victory. I think there's only two others so far, but they're planning more. Interesting. 
it's weird what what they're doing with SpongeBob post Steven Hillenburg passing away. Like I think I, I may have this is probably like secondhand knowledge from I'm not sure who said this even I can't even recall but I think uh, he didn't even want um, there to be like a, a CGI or, or the, the 3D models versions of those characters. Like I think he's was pretty dead set on their them being uh, 2D. Gah! No, I don't want to die. Yeah, I, I killed, I killed Dory. He didn't want those spin-offs, yeah. Well, they, they're doing Camp Coral, is that the name of the spin-off that they're working on right now? Yeah, it's... I think Nick really took as much as they could. I mean... I, I don't like them disrespecting Steven Hillenburg, but from Nickelodeon's point of view, like... SpongeBob SquarePants is their icon and their cash cow uh, and like the merchandise king like I understand why they would just like as a company that's doing things for profit um, even ugly and gross things for profit sometimes it, it makes sense okay Lord Roy, a priest from the St. Elamine Church wants an audience with you. And Princess Guinevere. He knew that Princess Guinevere was with us. Yes, I can't imagine how. Me neither. I'll see him alone. Roy, I'll be fine. I wish to meet this priest. Princess? Tensions between my brother and the church have worsened as of late. I do not believe that they would attempt anything underhanded. I see. Merlinus, allow the, this priest in. Lord Roy, it is a pleasure to meet you at last. I am Saul, an acolyte of the St. Elamine Church. Pleased to meet you. Oh, and you must be Princess Guinevere. You are as beautiful as the rumors say. Pardon me? Ahem, <clears throat> forgive me. Your Highness, I wish to know the location of the Fire Emblem. He said it! He said the thing! You have it with you, do you not? How did you know that? Burns Head Church tells us the Fire Emblem disappeared from the Shrine of Seals. And you also went missing at exactly the same time. I was sent by the church to confirm the truth. Why did you take the Fire Emblem? I wish to stop my brother. Your brother, Zephiel, the King of Burn. Yes. Do you know what the Fire Emblem is used for? It's the key that awakens a sword that was used to slay the dragons long ago. That was what my father told me anyway. I am unsure how exactly the Fire Emblem or the sword work. My brother seemed to worry about the Fire Emblem falling into enemy hands. Extraordinarily so. So you took the Fire Emblem to make the king believe it fell into enemy hands. All in an attempt to stop his conquest? Yes, but the war continued anyway. And what will you do now? Must I reveal my plan at this moment? Ah, so your highness has a plan. Yes, I have not given up hope of, un of settling this war without further bloodshed. I see. In that case, I will accompany you on your journey. If Roy allows it. I have no objections. Thank you, Roy. Of course, princess. Boom! And I think we'll call it there. Um, I think I'll, I'll just I'll hit save real quick. Um, but that, that is Fire Emblem. We beat Fire Emblem, and I think it's worth calling it right there just because, like, hey, is there a more, uh, fitting ending to this little detour of ours than beating Fire Emblem? I really don't think there is. So I'm gonna pull up and see if, if, uh, if we have a schedule. I think we do. Question mark, question mark, question mark. 
do we have a schedule? Um, I do not have a schedule. But, uh, rest assured, we will have Kingdom Hearts tomorrow night, and then Thursday will be um, more Fire Emblem from Joe. He's going to be playing through his his playthrough. He should be wrapping up Lin's campaign. That's Thursday night. And then Matt is either playing on Friday or Saturday. I do not know which day. But Kingdom Hearts tomorrow. More Fire Emblem from Joe on Thursday. Probably some more Fire Emblem some other time this week. Um, so that's going to be it for me tonight. It's been great hanging out with y'all. And Sir Tuzer, Odacat, I'm probably going to watch a movie with you now. We did it. We bit Fire Emblem. Congratulations, y'all. Love you too, gamer. I love all the gamers. Every gamer that picks up Fire Emblem. Special place in my heart. <laughs>